I'm going to have a look how to set up a Google Hangouts Meet. There's a couple of ways I can do this. I can go directly to meet.google.com. Uh, this takes me to the Hangouts Meet homepage. Here I've got the option to be able to join or start a meeting. I can put in my own meeting code or nickname there and that will create me a meeting space. I can then share that link with other people uh, for them to be able to join. The preferred way of doing it, however, is through a Google Calendar event. So here I've created an event. I can add any guests to this if I like. Under the option then for Add Conferencing, I've, I can add Hangouts Meet. This will automatically create me a meeting space and add the link to the event. So when I save it, anybody else who's been invited to this event can then also see this link in their calendar. If I want to share this with people who maybe can't see the calendar event, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I can press on this copy button, it'll save it to my clipboard, I can then share it with other people. It's worth noting that you don't need a university or even a Google account to be able to access Hangouts Meet. Uh, you can, anybody can follow this link in their browser uh, and they should be able to join the meeting as a guest. So when I'm ready to start the meeting, uh, I can just go to my calendar, find the event and click on the link. This will take me directly to the joining page. Uh, I've already given my browser access to my camera and my microphone. When you join for the first time, uh, you may need to grant permission to be able to access these. Before I join the meeting, there's a couple of things I can do. Uh, I've got the option to be able to turn my microphone and my camera off so that I join the meeting with those turned off. I can also see on this screen uh, if anybody else has already joined the call. I can see here a colleague already has. When I'm ready to start, I can just press on join now and that will join the meeting. I can see uh, as I've joined that a colleague is currently sharing their screen uh, and there's a couple of things on this screen I can do. As, as the active speaker is speaking, um, if somebody isn't sharing their screen, it would swap and it would change uh, to show the active speaker in this main window here. If I wanted it to stay so that I could just see one screen, um, I've got this option to be able to pin this to my screen. That means it would no longer change as different people speak. It's quite handy. Uh, up at the top, I've got a couple of options. This head and shoulders allows me to see uh, who's in the meeting. Uh, this option here allows for a text chat. Um, so I can um, write a message. This is really handy for maybe posting the agenda for the meeting um, or maybe talking about a speaking order if that's appropriate. I've got a couple of options at the bottom. Uh, I again can see the options to be able uh, to unmute my microphone and, and turn my camera back on. Uh, I can turn on auto captioning. We'll all automatically pick up what I'm saying and create captions for it. At the moment, a colleague is presenting their screen, but if I wanted to present my screen, that's fine. I can click on this option uh, and choose a desired window. This will warn me that I'm going to take over from my current presenter, uh, but if I want to, I can do that. I'm not going to do that for now. And then these three dots at the bottom gives me a, a few other options. Um, if I go to the change layout option, at the moment this is set to auto. So if I'm in a, in a small meeting with maybe up to four people, I may see this, see this tiled view automatically where it gives an equal size window for everybody in the meeting. For larger groups, it may automatically change to this sidebar view. Um, if I have a particular way that I would like it uh, to stay, I can choose uh, one of these uh, layouts as my fixed layout like this. Again down at the three dots at the bottom I've got a couple of other options. Anybody uh, signed in with the University of York account has the ability to start and stop a recording currently. Um, so if I want to start a recording I can press record meeting. This will make sure that I've checked with everybody in the meeting for consent before I start to record it. If I'm happy with that I can press accept. Uh, it then starts to load up in this corner and hopefully should go red in a second when it starts recording. In a second when it's loaded. Again, I've got uh, a few other things in the three dots. I've got the option uh, to be able to look at my settings. Uh, I can see uh, which devices I'm using for my microphone and my speaker. Along in here, being able to see which camera I'm using. Now it's started recording, I can see this up here at the top. When I'm ready to stop the recording, I again go on the three dots and go to the same place to stop recording. 
this will save it in the organizers Google Drive uh, and it will also add a link uh, to a Google Calendar event if it's been created that way. Finally, when I'm then ready to finish the call, uh, all I need to do is use this leave call button at the bottom. Uh, I can click on that. That takes me to a window that if I've accidentally left the call, I have the option to rejoin. Uh, otherwise, I can just close that window.